Vanessa Paz is here to tell us all about what we can expect. Right. It doesn't really matter what the forecast has as long as it's Friday, right? Yeah. We're heading into the weekend. Happy Friday, everyone. Let's go ahead and start things off this evening from our PV Sky Cam. Still a lot of people are heading to the coastal communities to beat the heat. And we have a lot of people paddling out this evening. Temperatures aren't too bad. Right now we're trending in the 70s from Oceanside all the way down to Imperial Beach. And we still have waves anywhere from two to four foot set. So again, really impressed about there. And I personally like when we have uh, smaller <laughs> waves out there. Temperatures right now currently on land are trending in the 70s along the beaches with the exception of Oceanside still hovering in the low 80s. Meanwhile, mid to upper 80s in spots like Ramona and in Poway this evening. 83 right now in Julian, low hundreds in Ocotillo Wells in upper 90s in Borrego Springs. In comparison to yesterday, we have a lot less clouds to start off your Friday evening, which is why most of us are trending anywhere from 5 to close to 15 degrees warmer than the same time yesterday. Satellite and radar composite again monsoon storm activity has really diminished over the past 24 hours, but we could still see a pop of shower or two towards those mountain foothill and desert areas. So keep that in mind if you are traveling anywhere near there this evening. It looks like storm activity will really decrease looking ahead to your overnight hours and then we'll have that marine layer build back in, which will give us patchy clouds along the coastal communities for your Saturday morning. As far as your weather headlines go, first of all, thank you to Mr. Chula Vista for sending in this photo of last night's sunset. Again, any photos that you do have, go ahead and submit them, and I'll try to get them here on air. Weather headlines, hot and humid weekend ahead, warm and muggy nights as well, so not a ton of relief as we get to those overnight hours. We'll have a break for monsoon storms, though, and then we still have a slight chance of a pop-up shower or two for the mountains for the next couple of days. It's Monday when things switch gears. We'll have widespread thunderstorms making a return, mainly going to be confined again to the mountains and desert, but it looks like it could be a greater surge of monsoon moisture that could give the valleys and the coastal areas a pop up shower for t or two as well beginning Monday. So as far as the coastal areas go, nothing but sunshine. Once we get past those morning clouds Saturday and Sunday, we'll still trend in the mid 70s. Inland areas will be in the mid to upper 80s. Not a ton of fluctuation as far as daytime highs go. Most of us will hover near that seasonal range. Mountain areas mid to upper 60s. Again, we do have a brief break from heavy monsoon activity this weekend. It's Monday when we'll have the re, uh, renewed surge of monsoon and moisture that will usher in the chance for thunderstorms, which could could lead to small hail, gusty winds, and localized flooding. 110 is going to be the trend for the weekend for de desert uh, daytime highs, and then we dip a few degrees looking ahead to early next week when most areas will trend close to that 105 range. Lindsay. Okay. Thanks, Vanessa. And still to come today, a last ditch effort for a pizza shop to keep its doors open. You don't last 68 years if you don't have.